and this is hip dysplasia and degenerative joint disease. Hip dysplasia is a disease where there's a deformity in the hip joint and it happens from young, it can be congenital and developmental. In Singapore, I think hip dysplasia is actually quite a commonly diagnosed disease. But there are certain breeds that are more predisposed to getting hip dysplasia like Golden Retrievers, Labradors, German Shepherds, Shiba Inus, Poodle Crosses. Sometimes I see them with you know, loose joints as a puppy and that is the start of hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia causes pain in the joints. It causes arthritis to form and it causes bone spurs and all these contribute to lameness. Lameness is where a dog is unable to walk and is limping means there is chronic pain. The treatment for hip dysplasia is total hip replacement. It involves doing surgery to replace the disease, the hip joint, with an artificial hip joint we will have to put an artificial stem and also to replace the socket with a new, brand new artificial socket. It will result in a pain-free joint and this joint can last the lifetime of the dog. Now, at Advanced Vet Care, we do many total hip replacements and so far we have had very, very good outcomes in all our patients. Typical recovery for total hip replacements is around about four to six weeks of strict cage rest. Now, during this recovery phase, most dogs are allowed to have controlled leash walks for around 10 to 15 minutes each day. But having said that, most of the patients are able to stand up and walk really comfortably within the first three to five days. Advanced Vet Care is the clinic to go to for your pet's total hip replacement surgery. If you think that your pet is suffering from hip dysplasia or having any pain in their back legs, please feel free to give us a call. We have experienced surgeons, state-of-the-art equipment and surgery suite, and we focus on a safe, comfortable recovery for your pet after a total hip replacement.